Anyways, um, I want to hop into this right away um, tonight. So as we said, Tim, it's Tim and Jill. I want to talk about front bench seat trucks that still exist. This kind of blew me away. And I'm going to cut this, Jill, into its own video. So we have to make sure that we're... Um, Stop and start appropriately. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the answer there is. So last week, um, Jill and I do this po- try to do live stream a week. And some weeks we do well, some weeks we don't, whatever it happens. Um, we had talked about... We were talking and this guy threw this comment at us. I said, hey... I'm just now new in the truck market and I'm looking for a six seater. Six seater would be a front bench seat that was so three and three, right? Front and rear. And uh, I was kind of taken aback by this. I, I, I honestly, I honestly had to do research. I was thrown back by this. There aren't any trucks that have a front bench seat anymore. I know. I've been doing this for 14 years, Jill, or over, well, I don't know what, over a decade, whatever. And you've been doing it a little longer. It occurred to me, I don't think I've ever had a press loan. Of a full size truck that's six seater. I know Jill's cocking her head right now because yeah. it, it it's interesting. It's they've all gone, they've all gone uh, bench front seats and they have the luxury feature. I well, mean they've all gone the well, not bench front seat, but the, not, but, two, but the two bucket seats. seats. Yeah, bucket uh, seats. But yeah, I mean, well, so let let let's kind of step this back a little bit. Usually the test vehicles that you and I get are the mm-hmm upper trims with all the features and things like that. And so, you know, usually if you're looking at um, something that has a bench seat, it's going to be, you know, not the top trim. Um, And, and it's, it's just by nature of people who order the press fleets trying to put, you know, the, the latest, greatest, best things in the uh, in the fleet. And so very often we don't see the, the lower trims um, with features like, a six seat bench in the front. No. And this was such a great question for us because I love to say grounded. And I love the fact you guys ask questions. Mm-hmm. They kind of keep us grounded. And I do research on this because it really kind of threw me for a loop. And, and Jill, and I actually did much research on what is the more searchable technical term. Six seat, yeah. bench, seat bench seat, front bench. bench. Like we had, so, so if you understand this business, we use a lot of SEO in our titles and things to make sure you guys search traffic gets, you know, see stuff. So Jill and I were like discussing this offline. Like, is it six seater? Is it front bench seat? Like we were trying to, I was trying to create this out. I have no idea. Is it, and I mean, we settled on people are searching for front bench seats. So it may not be like front bench seat for trucks that they're searching for, but I don't know. But so the, the key phrase we ended up using was front bench seat. Okay. So if you listen to Rebel long enough, you're probably like, damn it, Dim, get to this comment. Get to, this get to the point. So I, I want to do this tonight. I have a bunch of tabs open on the top, and Jill gets play judge and jury and executioner. But anyways, Jill gets ah. to decide which interior she likes better. So I want to go through these one by one because I think this is kind of interesting, and I did not know this. And um, if you're watching this video as a as a snippet, whatever, I bet you don't know this either. So the f- first image we have is your traditional. What I kind of grew up with was a fold down middle seat in the front, so you can mm-hmm. raise the seat up and you have a bench. Or you can put it down and you have two cup holders and the headrest basically sits between the seats, right? So this is something we I grew up with and you probably have seen as well. Uh, I have a Chevy Silverado as a second image. And this is with the new interior, which is really interesting details in this, by the way. Uh, not every truck gets the same interior. So, all right. So let's go. 24, 24 trucks with a bench seat. And so I want to start this by saying, alphabetically, and I, I have my friends who I messed this up, but my friends correct me. The Chevy Silverado offers a front bench seat in the following trims. WT, work truck, custom, custom trail boss, custom work truck, custom trail boss, off-road kind of work truck, LT, RST, and LT trail boss. So they offer one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six trims. So if you go to Chevrolet.com and you go to vehicles and we go to trucks and we go to Silverado, if you go to the build and price tool, you'll be able to see this. So I want to, I, I, yes, use my, zip, whatever is the code. Okay, done. All right, so um, I maybe had this. I should have had this on beforehand. So let's do a right a crew cab short bed. We'll do trims, and we'll do. Um, let's look at the let's look at the work truck first. So your bare bones four wheel drive crew cab work truck, right? Click on interior, and here's what we got. You know what that looks like, Jill? That is the 2019 Chevrolet interior, right? Uh, yeah, it's that's very, the smaller very... screen that. That's yeah. the stuff that Chevrolet got yelled at over, right? Matt, journalists were mad, customers were mad. This was they were. I remember to this day they were touting all these amazing like 
camera views. And I said, well, you can't see any camera views in a damn small screen anyways. So yeah, what the hell? So it's, it's interesting. So there is the work truck. But what's really fascinating to me is if you go, so what we're at 49,535. Four wheel drive, short bed, crew cab, work truck, 49,535. I think that's a pretty good price. Uh, what do we decide? Uh, the median price point for vehicles is 45? Like 48. 48. So we're right around that point. Yeah, right around that point. So that, that's something. So let's go to trims. I want to go to, um, what did I say, RST? Because no. I, I did. I spent some time clicking on the stuff. So I'm going to Turbo Max, the 27, and RST. And we'll go to interior. And here we go. We have the same oh. bench seat, but we have a much nicer interior. Yes. Much nicer interior. So this is like the modern interior. Of, and what I, what I mean by that, we have some wood grain there. We have the big, the bigger screen. You can see. Leather seat option. Leather seat option. Yes, we have leather seat option, which is fascinating. So if I click on jet black leather, do I have to do anything differently? I, I've changed my transmission. Okay. <laughs> I had to change my transmission from a eight speed to 10 speed. Apparently uh, I add $6,686. Holy cow. For just leather. But do I keep the buckets? No, I don't keep. Oh, I, oh okay. I go bucket. I don't go. I don't go with the uh, bench seat. So if I go back to cloth and I change crime, you remove. No, I got to go all the way back. Somehow we added the wrong thing, but yeah, so I can't, I can't do uh, no leather, no leather. So you can't do front bench seat leather, which I'm I'm actually okay with. Uh, um, I don't as long as I can have heated cloth seats, cool with it. Exactly, heated cloth seats are the schnitzels. Yeah, they all right. Are. So there we go. There's that. So I have the nicer interior. We have a column shifter, not a console shifter, which I think is fascinating. People watch our videos and say, "Well, I wish they would go back with the column shifter, Tim," or "I wish they'd," you know. Well. Yeah, they still have the column shifter. Just depends what kind of seat setup you have. Yeah. So it's interesting yeah, that these brands fun. offer both. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so there you go, Jill. There, there's one option. I'll leave that as best option. Okay. The second option is going to be um, F-150. The Ford F-150 offers just two trims with bench seats. They're XL and XLT. XL is your work truck trim, and XLT is going to be your uh, volume trim. So I'm going to go their website. Ford's website is kind of not so great. They need to like do some work on this website. This is why kind of... is it not so great since we're being I just a... don't, I, you know I, I guess I'm getting older and, and the smaller icons and the small see all this is faded here in the side. I can't see the gray lines as well as Maybe I should. Maybe you need glasses because that was perfectly fine for me. Oh. Um, you cut out there. I didn't. I didn't quite hear you. You cut out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Perfectly <sighs> fine. Okay, so let's do let's do short bed crew cab short bed. Which I'm, I, I'm, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure if you go to Cab or Super Crew, you probably get the same kind of bench in the front. And I don't know about bed, but let's do the XL. So XL, pretty base looking truck. Interior. So there's our interior. Do we have another photo of the interior? Okay, there we go, Jill. So we have in the XL, we have the bigger screen, Jill. Yeah, hmm. I feel like the the standard screen for for Ford went up. Yeah. The I like that. redesign. Yeah, I, and you're right. I, I, so we have a bench seat, bigger screen you can see, although it's it has a white background to it now because it's daytime, which sucks. There's a blue background that's so much better in this, these trucks. I don't know why. This should just toss the white. It's ridiculous. I like yeah. the white. No, I can't hear you again. I had a dog running around barking on what's going on. Blah, blah, but blah, whatever. We, there's a bench seat. So we have the bench seat. We have a little bit of chrome going across. Isn't that chrome in an XL work truck? No, that's plastic. But I mean, it's plastic meant to look right like plastic. Chrome. Right. Huh. So th there's there is your other option on the other side. So there's your your option for a six seater, aka bent front bench seat forward. Do you need to say XLT? Should we see the XLT? Let's go to XLT. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, Sean says so, um, the F one fifty XLT with the bench seat now comes with a three sixty camera. Oh. Oh, that could be something. You guys, uh, you guys, you guys, as uh, you, I'm gonna say that four times. Uh, commenters on this channel are really in tune. I really appreciate you guys' viewpoint. You guys have like good things to say. Does so the XLT look looks bigger? the same as XL. No, I was gonna say, does that screen look bigger? I don't know. Something oh. looks different there. I don't yeah. know what it is. Okay, so we'll leave the XL. That's yeah. the highest trim so that we can pair apples to apples. So we have remember Silverado and we have XLT. 
And both okay. have column shifters. Okay. So, so then can we I have this along the way, or do I wait until the end? Wait till the end. Oh. Uh, uh, X GMC Sierra offers bench seats for Pro SLE Elevation and SLT. So okay, so let's go here to vehicles. Let's build in price, and let's go. Okay, yes, I have a. There's a Denver zip code in there, by the way. It's not Nebraska. Um, <laughs> I shop. I usually I shop a lot. Old zip code in from Florida. <laughs> I shop a lot in Denver because it, it seems like you have more options. Um, just right. Make sure of it. Okay, so there is our S, no, our Pro, our work truck basic GMC Sierra. Ooh. Ooh. The double Ooh. glove box that's going to use. And uh, this is this is the same as the does, right? So the same GMC, the same as the I can't believe the that base is. GMC doesn't have a better, like, that looks terrible. For a GMC. It does. It, look, yeah, that looks it awful. looks awful. I'm going to agree with you. It's awful. So what I say, let me go back. It's SLT is the highest trim that has the yeah. um, bench seat. So XL, SLT. So SLT, and I don't know if I have to choose engine, whatever. Who cares? Uh, interior. So there we go. The SLT. Okay. Now that's better. That's a lot yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. Although I do wish that GMC would change the logo on their um, uh, steering wheel. What do you think of that? Just looks kind of plain to me. Looks like they can do maybe something a little fancy. I don't know. I'm nitpicking here. What would you I, like them to do that's fancy? Uh, let's let me. Look. I guess they all do just the same icon. I get. I see. I like the. I guess GMC does not have a logo, do they? Just says GMC. It, that's that's their different. logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. The letters a logo. So the Chevrolet's got a bow tie. Ford's got their F. The Ford kind of oval. All right, all right. So that, that's what we got. That's it. The high, the best trim level SLT. Let's go Ram trucks. So I went Ram trucks. I went to 2025, and uh, I was looking around. Oh, so what I, I put it on story. Oh, I had. Oh, excuse me, Nissan Titan. This is where I messed things up. Nissan Titan. Come here, Nissan. My alphabet is not very good. Jill knows this. She edits my stories. So uh, SV. They tell me SV. Well, has... clearly I did not catch that one. I'm editing your stories, and I did not catch that. Yeah, we had a, we had a snafu with my alphabetical list it wasn't good but if you go to nissan usa and click on number of seats you can actually slide over to six seats if you slide the six seats and you go to build and price they basically offer you a titan crew cab sv i don't know why the screen got weird that's what they offer you and then the interior is going to be the big uh baseball bat shifter as jill knows and then and the black your hvac controls when it's in drive <laughs> right and your stop start button or your power button yeah so i mean just that this is what you have now. Jill sent me a photo, and we can see the side side profile, right? So there's your side profile of your Nissan Titan, and then there is that Nissan Titan with six seater. Pretty plain, mm -hmm. pretty plain. There's an argument there. Uh, so we have uh, we have price points about the same forty eight oh five zero. Uh, what do we have here? I have uh, this thing won't fifty six. Does it say fifty six? I can't see the the stream yards covering that up. Yes, fifty six. Uh, I'm going up here. What do we have? Uh, 56. Come on. All the way top. Oh, uh, summary. Uh, we have, geez, come on. Give me a price. Yeah. Oh, 52. Yeah. 52 for the Ford. And um, summary. 51. It, it's, you can see 51 there? Okay. I'm sorry. My yeah. stream is messing up. So let's go to Ram. So Ram. So let's build in price. Ram 1500. And I wrote in a story. Double check my story. Ram 1500 offers a few trims with bench seats like Tradesman. Bighorn and Laramie. This means you can work truck plus two different consumer trims, including the Laramie with leather, which I believe the Laramie does have leather. So you can get a, a, a bench seat uh, with leather. Maybe. Oh, I think. Unless it like makes you uh, like yeah. go to the bucket seats again, like the other one did. Do some massive upgrades. So this is a six passenger seating, and this is your your interior. I don't see any other photos, which is a little frustrating. No, and it has vinyl seats, it says. That has vinyl seats. I'm looking at, what are we at? We're at 42,270. And what model do I have? The yeah, base, I wanna... right? Did I base? I thought I did base. Yeah. Okay, so I did a rep, uh, no. I did a Tradesman okay. four-wheel, two-wheel drive. So Tradesman four-wheel drive with a quad box or the crew cab. But, so let's do crew cab, 46,875. You get a bigger screen, plus you get six-seater. For 46. That's not bad. Let's do Laramie. Let's do the top term. Laramie build. Uh let's do interior. It says five, no, six passenger. See right here. Six passenger. Know. 
Where does it say six? Because up okay, I said up at the top it says five passenger. Yeah, um, so that's what threw me. So six passenger seating, leather trimmed. And, yep, it does say leather. Yep, leather trim, six passenger for sixty six one seventy. So what do we say? Forty six and sixty six. So you have quite a bit of range there. We can get yeah. leather with a fold down seat. And I, I'd love to see Explore 360. Let me see if it can explore. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm. I'm. That would be the chill seat. <laughs> I, I I went crazy, but yeah, there's the middle seat, and that must fold down, so you can get leather Laramie six seater. That's nice. That's like the highest trim level we have. So yeah, there's that option. So we say last one. I big said vertical screen. Uh, I said a Toyota Toyota Tundra isn't offered the French with bench seats. So. Uh, what do you want to insert your sad trombone? Oh, wonk wonk. Yeah, wonk wonk. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if but it's yeah. There's no um, there there is no tundra with with a bench seat. So when I looked at the uh, I looked at build and price and did the things. Uh, there's no there's no. It's all five seaters. So I don't. The even tundra is the only one that doesn't offer it then. Yeah. So seating for five, seating for five, seating for five, seating for five. Even the SR, even an. SR5, even SR trim. Uh, let me go back to SR trim. And um, as far as I can tell, when I looked at SR trim, looked at cabin bed, I have seating for five, seating for five, seating for five. So no, no, there, there is no, there is no Tundra. So we need a six seater or front bench seat. Tundra's out. So we have Silverado with mm -hmm. this kind of a vertical screen. I owned one. I'm a little partial. That's why Jill's horizontal is screen, by the way. Horizontal screen, yes. That's why Jill's a judge and editor and uh, keeps me in line. Uh, F-150, we have, let me go back to interior. Uh, let me go interior one more time. We have this with a horizontal screen. Uh -huh. um, that's your interior for the Ford. GMC has got uh, maybe a little touch more chrome I, or gray painted chrome, whatever you want to call it. And that is the SLT, the higher trim. The Titan, here's your Titan looking interior. Uh, yeah, the this the operational screen it works fine, but it's not like as big as the other ones. And you have the RAM, the RAM interior, which we've done the 360 kind of make you dizzy look to it. So, um, all right, Jill, there are the options that you have to choose from. So, uh, where are you at? Yeah, actually, I fall on the GMC Chevy side of things. I feel like those two look the nicest. And I mean, if you make me pick between them, I'd probably say GMC. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I like the, I mean, I, I've had a Silverado, so I'm probably more interested in the Ram at this point. Cause I haven't been, I haven't owned a Ram. Um, and that's just me. So that's, yeah. So Mr. Mister says the GMC is hot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, Jill it's looks like on a trucker fire. With, uh, on fire. Uh, Dick header says Jill looks like a trucker with, with the baseball cap on. Cool. <laughs> I, I know this. Is, so I went for a walk this morning, I have to tell you, and I've been cold ever since I got back. So I still have like my buff on because right. I I was I was cold in my fleece shirt, but yeah, and I've had my heat on in my office all day, but yeah. So I haven't showered yeah. hence the hat. Once you get cold, you start to not get cold. Have that, that warm up. GMC is four thousand dollars more, but you get full leather. Worth it. Was that full leather? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I no. in the, I know the no, base was the final. Yeah, I think the base was so. Sean, I would say the base. Let me pull it up. Uh, where'd my other screen go? So I want to double check this. So I want to make sure accurate information going out there. So I have what accurate information? What? I know, right? I want to be right because I want to. I want to end this video in a little bit because I want to make sure people get the details they need. But let's look at this one. Jet black perforated leather appointed front upward seat trim. Oh, so that's oh. So that's SLT. I think That's the base the was the leatherette or vinyl. The base, yeah, the base was the pro was like cloth. Yeah, this you can get. Yeah, you can get leather in that. So there you go. Yay. Good congratulations. You went. So GMC uh, not... and Ram have leather. The right. others are either cloth or like a, a vinyl. Yeah. Interesting. And and by the way, I am not swigging a beer. Um. Oh, it's bubbly. She's drinking uh, bubble water. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here, and we have a full live stream later on. So just if you want to live stream, I'm going to end this part of the video and check it out there. Yeah, more details.